something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. Tonight, we're taking a look at this Elite Tech WJL6000. This is a leak detector for air conditioning systems. It's kind of amazing. I picked this thing up real cheap, and uh, it used to be that five years ago, ten years ago, these suckers were a whole lot of money. I mean, a whole lot of money. I've owned two of these before in my life. The first one cost somewhere north of 900 bucks, and the second one was just shy of 700 bucks. This was less than 100 so uh, amazing that the technology has come down to the everyman's price point. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and check it out. And here we go. We got uh, the manual here, WJL6000 halogen leak detector. And let's see here. All right, pretty, pretty simplistic. There's not a lot to a leak detector. If you've never used one before, I'll do a follow-up video on my other channel, which specializes in automotive work, Farpoint restorations and repairs. And I will show you, uh, you know, how to in-depth find leaks on cars, some of the places that cars tend to leak. So it does work with R12, R11, R500, 503, R22, 134, 122, 134. So there we go. So the big ones you're going to find in the automotive field are R12 and R134. But you also got, um, you know, refrigerant for, uh, for air conditioning systems in your home. R22 would be for refrigerator flash freezers. And I think it's what, R400 or 404, I think is the new stuff for, for houses. I'm not familiar with house stuff as much as I am for automotive use. So, but cool. So there you go. Nice color manual. This is in a uh, little case here. And there it is. And like I said, not a whole lot going on here. Uh, let's see. Turn the knob on, then adjust sensitivity. Detection begins six seconds after turning on the detector. Search for leaks. The ticking should increase, and this looks like it does have some lights uh, as well. And there we go. Halogen leak detector. Okay. Well, let me go put some batteries in it. It says it takes four, I think it was double A or triple A. I'll let you know here in a second. All right. It was four triple A's. There they are right there. Slide this back into place, and here we go. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Yep. And there's our little nostril there. And that is our sniffer. So I don't have a car with a leak right now, and I'm not about to make one, but I'll bet you I can get this thing to go off if we unscrew the cap for the fill valve on my wife's old uh, Mitsubishi Outlander. So let's go out there and give it a shot. All right, here we are outside of the car. I've got the uh, hood open, and of course we have our air conditioning lines to come across here. We have a condenser along the front here. There's a compressor down there as well. Uh, this car, as far as I know, doesn't have any leaks, but this thing should be sensitive enough to detect some uh, residual maybe around the fill port there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to turn the sensitivity all the way up. And let's see if we can get this thing to react when we take off that low side charging port there and stick this in there, okay? Right away. And that's pretty much exactly how this works. There's uh you know, obviously that's an that's an, an obvious leak, but you know, you'd want to check around your your crimps, you'd be checking around your condenser, both above and below. You'd stick this into the evap drain and check up there to see if it uh, catches you know a whiff coming out of the evap. A lot of cars have evap leaks and you know AC dye. I'll go ahead and shut this off for a second. AC dye is going to show up on, say, this kind of a hose starts leaking here. I get a UV light, I could check it with AC dye. But an evaporator, you're not going to see dye leaking out of it because you can't see the evaporator. So this stuck in the drain line, the evap drain line, would give you. You run the car, you let the thing get up to temperature, AC full blast, shut it off, let it sit for a few minutes, stick this up onto the vent line. And it should give it because that gas is going to drip, uh, you know, kind of filter down through that little evap port. So um, that's it. There's not a lot to this video. Again, I'll take this back off and just show it one more time. It's pretty, uh, pretty sensitive. I'll put it at the lowest sensitivity rating. Not reading it, right? But I put it at about four. 
and I'll put it all the way up and it's catching it. Okay. So for a leak that's not really leaking, this is just residual. There's not actually a leak here. It's still picking it up at seven. So it's very sensitive, I would say. And that's it. I mean, this for auto tech guys like myself, this is kind of a necessity. You got to have something like this if you're going to work on air conditioning systems. Back down in Raleigh, about a third of the money that I made was related to air conditioning work. And it was necessary to have a tool like this. And like I said, a thousand bucks, 700 bucks. Now this technology is available for somebody who wants to do this kind of work in their yard. So it's pretty awesome. Anyway, that'll do it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms Restorations and Repairs. This is the WJL-6000 leak detector, and it works. Right on. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.